Hello, Asus Store users. The good news for you, there is a new ADM out 4.0, which is beta still, but um, you can actually participate and install this operating system on your Asus Store and uh, help them to involve this system to create uh, better functions, fix their bug uh, bags and things like that. So I'm gonna show you how does it look, what is new and stuff like that. You can read yourself on their Asus Store website slash beta program a store data master 4.0 beta uh, what is new one big thing what is new is actually uh, removed license uh, requirement for XFAT so these uh, people who are photographers they have SD cards with massive um, file sizes you normally they were a file system had limitations of seeing those files now this functions for free it's something to do with Windows opening this license up for public and uh, therefore you might actually see this license for free on other systems as well, including Snowgen and QNAP. But Asus is first. Um, so what do they have? New design. They're saying it's, it's faster than the previous one, Snapier, which actually was fast already before. Um, so what do you get here? New is uh, new themes. You can have this they call dark theme, or you can create your own theme, can customize some colors. Uh, login, all the uh, operating system, uh, admin panel, how it looks. You can customize all these things if you really spend that much time on the um, admin side. If you're just using your NAS for connecting from your computer, from your PC, from your phone, you wouldn't really care much. Um, I wish they were actually updating some f uh, functions on the phone because their phone software is not really the best yet. They should put more focus on that side. but. This time they have improved their um, desktop side of things. So new themes, uh, they say this improved search. So when you search, it's going to be universal search. It's going to look into settings and files so, uh, and things like that. So with one search, you can actually look up a uh, few things simultaneously. Uh, new open SSL. So they're implementing their own ACES store uh, certificate. So you don't need to rely on some sort of third party or soft science um, certificates so it's, that makes the entire thing more secure when you're connecting through the browser using um, easy connect uh, what they are offering uh, they're offering new samba 4.12 which is good news as well it's better uh, uh, compatibility with um, mac systems and uh, and in general you can use time machines because that's how you communicate through the network um, this they're promising improved web server easier to control, easier to configure mm, if you are running your website on your NAS. Uh, it's some in improvements on the BTRFS file system, which is a better file system, uh, the same like Snorgy is using. Mm, so it's some auto healing, uh, if there is some bit rotting, uh, things like that happening in your RAID, it's going to look these things after. So you can just click download, uh, fill a few details into the form and it's going to show you a, a download option. Just make sure that, that uh, it's not going to interrupt your uh, existing setup because um, they are saying that uh, USB devices like uh, dongles for TV will be disabled and a uh, few other things with uh, limited functionality like surveillance states, uh, center and virtual box mail server. Uh, make sure mm, your NAS will not be affected by this update. So this is still a beta, um, not the real version. So I have already installed uh, to install this um, update, you'll just need to go to settings and ADM update. Um, it's, yeah, I think it was ADM update. Uh, yeah, and then choose manual update, uh, select the file you downloaded in the previous step, and uh, that's it. Just click apply. It's going to go into a new operating system. You don't need to reconfigure things, uh, think what you do. It's very straightforward. And um, after a few minutes, you're going to be already in this way of looking at things so things what they were promising to improve or search so let's search for nas um, so search into apps into settings um, just looking at the files themselves so we'll open some files you can open them up i don't know how we can get out of this without closing this thing okay something to improve for them um, what other things they were improving uh, web server so let's search web web server and this is how it looks 
very straightforward. Um, let's have a look at other things like our file explorer. Is there anything changed? Um, the main tree of folders still there. The recycle bin, nothing has really changed apart from design. Uh, into a services as well. You can still set up your SMB, AFP, uh, NFP, and other things, including web server. Um, settings, uh, network, in network, nothing has changed. You can now see the details. You can configure your, configure your network card with manual IP if you want to set up some proxies, regional settings, hardware settings. Um, they got energy control here, so you can control when disks are hibernating. That's a good feature to save some energy. Uh, power. Also, they got um, this European power option. You can set up when NAS is uh, shutting down and waking up. You can control your fan speeds as well, which is all useful and handy for some people. They also said they have improved their wake up, awake on LAN option. So if you do shut down your NAS and you want to wake you up only when you're using it, then they're promising that has been improved as well because before it wasn't that responsive maybe. Um, they got Defender, like a firewall as well. Um, certificates, now you can see this Acer store self-signed certificate. Um, I can see that there is still padlock with a red crossover. They said they improved SSL, but maybe they didn't yet finish it. But probably they will finish it after this video. <laughs> so the re recycle bin, you get the scheduling. This is a really nice fun function actually that um, not only you can hibernate your disks or fan speed and things like that, you can actually lower a CPU frequent, um, performance. You can really lower it when, when you are not using your NAS. So you, you don't need to think about waking up your NAS when you're not using, you just um, lower the performance. So when you're using just a file server or something on the NAS, it can run on really minimum requirements. It doesn't need any power in those cases. Only when they're up from nine to five, you can switch on the full power mode when there are 10 maybe users or 20 users connecting and pulling data off the NAS. But after five o'clock, you can just limit it to 10% or 20% of the performance because you might be the only person connecting to the NAS. You don't need all of this performance. Easy connect, still there. You can create your username and connect to a NAS manual connections, uh, you can set up your DDNS if you want uh, to use IP address, which is not uh, static. Um, that, that's very straightforward. What else have you got? Storage manager. This is how it looks. New design. Uh, nothing else has really changed. You can manage your volumes, your raids, uh, iSCSI disks, LUNs. Very straightforward, easy sync manager. This is their like Dropbox sort of thing where you can synchronize uh, folders and files between your NAS and uh, phone and uh, and the laptop or any other computer. Um, snapshot manager, that's the last thing we haven't looked. This is where you create volumes and raids and it's iSCSI. Um, so this is new ADM 4.0 beta. If you want to try it, you can install it. Make sure you have a backup in place, but it looks good so far. Um, I hope this was a helpful video. If you got any questions, you can always go to an Ask Compares, fill the form on the right hand side, send email to Info Ask Compares, and uh, the most interesting questions will be answered on a video like this, so we can help others as well. Cheerio!